Kilo, November 4, Tango, Charlie Lima. Kilo, November 4, Tango, Charlie Lima. Roger, what's the name there? Kilo, November 4, Tango, Charlie Lima. Roger, what's the name there? His name is Ralph Romeo Alpha Lima Papa Hotel. Roger, Ralph, and what's your location, sir? Roger, Ralph, and what's your location, sir? I am in a little town just south of Chattanooga called Chickamauga, Georgia. Roger, Roger. I'm copying you real well on the Georgia SDR, so you must be fairly close to that. Uh, and uh, what radio are you running, sir? You're fairly close to that. Uh, and uh, what radio are you running, sir? I'm running a little icon. So you got some numbers? I'm sorry, uh, what's the nomenclature on that icon? I'm sorry, uh, what's the nomenclature on that icon? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Bring it back. Roger, Roger, what's the name of that icon? Roger, Roger, what's the name of that icon? It's a 718. Roger, Roger, now, uh, are you mobile or are you on base? Roger, Roger. Now, uh, are you mobile or are you on base? Well, I'm on base. I'm on a. I've got a uh, long wire that I'm using. Roger, Roger. And uh, how old is that 718? Is that a newer radio or an older radio? And uh, how old is that 718? Is that a newer radio or an older radio? Gosh, I couldn't tell you that. I got it about 10 years ago from a guy over in Nashville, Tennessee. Over. Ah, Roger, Roger. Well, it sounds pretty good there. Uh, we could go through a couple of things. Uh, uh, we suggest that uh, you uh, run that uh, compressor on at about a 3, that compressor processor on at about a 3 out of 10 or a 30 out of 100, depending on how it's labeled. Out of 10 or a 30 out of 100, depending on how it's labeled. Okay, so uh, you're pretty hot now. Uh, do you see, uh, uh, you've got an ALC meter on that radio, Roger? You see, uh, uh, you've got an ALC meter on that radio, Roger? No, no, I don't. Well, you probably do. Uh, most radios do. It's, uh, uh, you've got, um, you know, uh, maybe two or three uh, meters on there, right? Uh, uh, and uh, one of them is an ALC meter, Roger? An AOC meter, Roger. No, I've only got one meter on it. Over. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, take your mic gain back down. Uh, take your mic gain down about uh, oh maybe ten, uh, and tell me what it is uh, after you turn it down. About ten clicks. Uh, and tell me what it is uh, after you turn it down. About ten clicks. Is that right? You don't have a, a outboard uh, mic uh, input control. Uh, uh, outboard uh, mic uh, input control. It's on the bottom of the microphone, over. Oh, okay. Well, uh, so you have a powered uh, microphone uh, uh, powering that. Uh, well, you have a powered microphone running on the radio, Roger. Powering that. Uh, well. You have a powered microphone running on the radio, Roger? Roger. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is to be sure that you're not overdriving the front end of your radio. So uh, what we suggest is that you uh, uh, go in and adjust your radio microphone level input control to a nominal level, mid-scale, like a 4, 5, somewhere in there, and then adjust your uh, mic gain, uh, external mic gain, uh, to uh, for proper level. And therefore, you're, you're sure you're not overdriving the front end of your mic preamp on that radio, Roger? Overdriving the front end of your mic preamp on that radio, Roger? Yeah, Roger that. That sounded pretty good. Why don't you give me about uh, 10 or 15 seconds and tell me about your antenna system, Roger? Uh, 10 or 15 seconds and tell me about your antenna system, Roger? 
Okay, I'm up about 30 feet. Uh, I've got a 136-foot long wire. Uh, I forget what it is. It's a, I think it's a nine-to-one ratio on the on the. Uh, but it, it it does a pretty good job. I've been able to talk all over the world, you know, on it basically. Roger. Well, we've got some uh, QRMers on the line. Uh, uh, best way to work that, that's a hand mic you're running now, Roger. Uh, uh, best way to work that, that's a hand mic you're running now, Roger. No, it's a desk mic. It is. Uh, well, uh, I can I can feel your fingers on the um, the uh, transfer key, so you might be uh, maybe work that just a little bit later lighter on your uh, transmit, uh, so it doesn't uh, you know uh, come through the the um, the mic element itself, Roger. Oh, uh, come through the the um, the mic element itself, Roger. What about now? That sounded pretty clean. Uh, you know, it did sound like maybe you were trying to get in with a ball-peen hammer or something, Roger. It did sound like maybe you were trying to get in with a ball-peen hammer or something, Roger. Well, that's, that's the way you get in sometimes. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It sounds, it sounds pretty good. Uh, uh, EQ curve is nice, Roger, Roger. It sounds pretty good. Uh, uh, EQ curve is nice, Roger, Roger. Roger that. And if you'd like to hear your audio, uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. Roger that. So let me say 73 to you, Ralph, and uh, you have a great afternoon, a beautiful weekend, and if you get a chance, uh, uh, join us next Friday, Roger. Beautiful weekend, and if you get a chance, uh, uh, join us next Friday, Roger. Roger that. 73 to you. Over. Yes, sir, Ralph. 73 to you, sir, sir. Uh, have a great afternoon, and uh, we'll see you next Friday if you get a chance. And uh, with that... Uh, you know, uh, we're getting close here to wrapping up. Uh, just if uh, if you uh, participated in today's broadcast and would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,900, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. And with that being said, we got to get out of here and return this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9VKV, clear.